Coming up on this edition of Access Virginia Beach, ground is broken on a state-of-the-art 21st century school. We'll bring you the details. Plus, a new floating classroom gives students a deeper understanding of our environment. And Virginia Beach Public Libraries have joined the digital revolution with downloadable e-books. That and more are coming up as we access Virginia Beach. Hello and welcome to VBTV's Access Virginia Beach, a program that informs you of news and events from around our city and schools. I'm Peter Van Heest, and thanks for joining us. Kellum High School first opened their doors back in 1962, and for the past 49 years, they've been providing quality education to beach students. But like any well-loved building, there comes a time to rebuild. And Kellum's time is now, as school officials and dignitaries broke ground on the new building. Since 2005, all schools in the division are designed to be environmentally friendly, and the future Kellum High School is following in that tradition. The building is approximately 330,000 square feet. Some of the main sustainable features are we've designed the building roof system to act like leaves to collect all of the rainwater, and we're collecting those in cisterns. And those are then being, that water is then being used to both provide irrigation for the gardens in the educational courtyard and also to irrigate the play fields. The building will also feature natural daylighting and high efficiency mechanical systems. The design also includes input from students and staff. This is a real exciting day. We've worked real hard at trying to make the most sustainable school possible and the architects have gotten students involved in this process every step of the way. So it's wonderful to have students out here to be a part of the opening ceremonies. Yeah, I have a younger brother who will probably be going to the new Kellum, so that'll be really cool that he'll be able to go to a school that, you know, I kind of had a part in help designing. The cost of the school is budgeted at a little more than $100 million. The new Kellum is also the first school in the city that has been designed to support 21st century learning. The school is projected to open in late 2013 or early 2014. There's undoubtedly a huge military presence in our area, so when two local schools were chosen to become part of a military program, it was big news. Virginia Beach is proud of our initiatives uh, focused around the military. And they can be even prouder now that students at Salem and Green Run High School are eligible to participate in the Initiative for Military Families. This initiative allows us to provide better support, not only to our military families, but also our students who enroll in advanced placement courses in math, science, and English. The program gives eligible students extra tutoring and financial assistance in their AP courses. This is truly a program that uh, is designed to support you to, and to reward you for uh, your excellence. The goal is to increase achievement in math and science at schools that have high concentrations of military families. For Green Run High School, I can tell you that this is a blessing. We've seen increased enrollment in our advanced placement classes. Now to, be, to provide the resources to better prepare our teachers, to provide the uh, equipment necessary to do additional labs and advanced placement courses, and also to buy additional books for our English teachers, uh, it gives us an extremely impressive opportunity to take advantage of the uh, resources that the community and the military are rallying together to provide the students in, this, in the Hampton Roads area. The initiative for military families is being implemented around the country. It has awarded more than $13 million to nine high schools in Virginia. From partnering with the military to expanding outdoor learning experiences, the school division works hard to provide quality education. And now, thanks to a new public-private partnership, an environmental literacy program has been announced. So I'm very pleased to announce today on behalf of my office, the Noah Chesapeake Bay office, that we're going to provide a grant of $120,000 to the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, who's going to work in concert with the Virginia Beach School System uh, on this exciting environmental literacy initiative. School officials and program partners gathered to celebrate a groundbreaking education program that will provide beach students 
with a floating classroom. We're very fortunate to be able to partner up with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and be the, have the financial support of NOAA and CSX to enable our students and our teachers to be able to go out physically on the bay and be able to uh, experience what they're learning in the classroom. From learning about sea life. The blue crab is uh, very aggressive and it's found on the uh, Atlantic and the Gulf Coast. They're testing their luck at crabbing. You guys can catch some crabs? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Students will get a chance to extend the classroom beyond the four walls of the building. This partnership is, a, is another opportunity for us to build sustainability naturally within our curriculum to show our students how they can be an important part of preserving everything that, that we believe in and hold dear. The grant money will pay for guided field trips onto local waterways and pay for teachers to develop their new coursework. The goal is that eventually all students will get their hands wet with this unique learning opportunity. It's intended for the core curriculum classes in the sixth grade uh, so that all the students will have an opportunity to get this uh, exposure uh, and then again it will move up to the biology and oceanography courses at the same time. And these students certainly soaked up the learning. It was a good experience. We got to learn about the animals and the rest uh, how they're restoring the Chesapeake Bay. The initiative called the Virginia Beach Systemic Environmental Literacy Program hopes to eventually become a model for schools throughout Virginia and even the country. Halloween is right around the corner, but before you head out for a night of trick-or-treating, the police department wants to make sure everyone is safe. Here's this month's crime prevention tip. It takes desire, ability, and opportunity for a criminal to take advantage of you. Eliminating the opportunity is your first step toward protecting yourself. As Halloween approaches, it is time to think about ways to keep your children safe while trick-or-treating. While out, make safety your number one priority. Children should always trick-or-treat with a parent, and they should never enter a home to receive their treat. Also, make sure children know their own address and city of residence. While walking from home to home, stick to well-lit streets, have your route planned out, and always carry a flashlight. Only visit homes that have their front porch lights on. And parents, before your children dive into their Halloween loot, go through all of their candy and make sure it's safe to eat. Above all, be alert. Protect yourself. Don't give crime a chance. This tip is brought to you by the Virginia Beach Police Department's Crime Prevention Unit. Trick or treating will be observed Monday, October 31st from dusk until 8 p.m. And remember, it's just for kids ages 12 and under. Members of the Virginia Beach Police and Fire Departments who investigated and foiled a plot by students to attack Lansdowne High School on April the 20th, 2009, the 10th anniversary of the Columbine Massacre, were honored in Washington, D.C. recently. The Anti-Defamation League presented the honors at the second annual presentation of the ADL Shield Awards. Captain Dennis Santos of the Police Department and District Chief Richard Cooper of Fire accepted the honors at the ceremony. The departments, along with the school division, combined efforts to stop the plan of three teenagers who were preparing a terror attack at the school. The ADL created the Shield Awards in 2010 to annually honor law enforcement for protecting the American people from hate crimes and domestic and international terrorism. And the accolades keep coming. Bloomberg Business Week has named Virginia Beach among the 10 best cities in America. The city was chosen thanks to its natural beauty, great schools, and low unemployment and crime rates. The online magazine rated the country's 100 largest cities, looking at criteria including number of restaurants, cultural amenities, green space, and much more. Virginia Beach landed in the number eight spot ahead of cities like New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. And if you're wondering who took home the top honors, that would be Raleigh, North Carolina. Coming up next on this edition of Access Virginia Beach, put down the books and grab your Kindle. Virginia Beach Public Libraries are joining the digital age with e-books. Plus, a local group that's made it big returns to their old stomping grounds to give students some inspiration. We'll have that and more when we return.
Virginia Beach Schools Parent Connection is your one-stop resource for information and events which support families and promote student success. If you're parenting a child who has difficulty managing anger, please attend CHKD's Understanding the Angry Child class at the Health Center in Chesapeake, October 27th from 9.30 to 11 a.m. Learn how to understand the causes of anger and how to anticipate and diffuse angry outbursts. Call 668-7000 to register. In today's tough economic times, financial literacy is more important than ever. Parents need to know the basics for themselves and also how to teach their children to manage their own finances. On October 27th, parents can learn tips and tricks for budgeting and good money management. This Parent Connection session will be at the Advanced Technology Center from 7 to 9 p.m. Call 263-1936 to register. To learn more about these activities or to see a complete calendar of events, visit the Parent Connection page of vbschools.com. Welcome back to Access Virginia Beach. I'm Peter Van Heest. So let's suppose it's a rainy day outside. You know the kind of day that you just want to relax and read a book all day long. Problem is you have no material to read and you don't want to battle the weather to go to the library. Now Kindle owners have the power to make the library come to them. Our overdrive service has recently added Kindle to its um, devices, which you can download eBooks to. Anywhere that you can download a Kindle app on your iPhone, your Droid, your iPad, or your Kindle device, you can download free books from the library. Mom, we need some new books to read. Beach residents with library cards can now download popular and classic eBooks at no charge to use on a Kindle or on any mobile device with the free Kindle app and it's easy to access. So people can access these services by going to the library's website at www.vbgov.com slash libraries. Select books and more and downloadables and you'll find links to our overdrive, downloadable audiobooks, spoken word, um, ebooks that serve a variety of devices. Ebooks can be checked out in seven, 14 or 21 day increments. In addition, music fans are already taking advantage of the library's exciting new downloadable song service, Freegal. In the virtual branch, under Books and More and Downloadables, you'll find our free music downloadable service called Freegal. You get three downloads a week for a total of 156 songs per year that you get to keep. You don't have to return them. You download them to your computer and your device, and they are your songs. Staffers are excited about the new e-services being offered to citizens, but they still want to see your smiling faces at the local branch. Although we still want you to come and visit us in person at, at our nine library branches. We're still open seven days a week with an amazing staff. We also have a virtual branch that's open 24-7 for anyone with internet access for a variety of services and resources. 16,000 downloadable e-books and audiobook items are available with about 7,000 getting used per month on a variety of devices. To find out more about the services they can provide to you at any branch or in the comfort of your home, just log on to vbgov.com slash libraries. Virginia Beach will celebrate its 16th year hosting the Minority Business Council Conference and Expo at the Convention Center on November the 3rd. Hustle is the only way in which you will reach your goals and objectives. Local businesses will be on hand to talk to clients about their company and what services they can provide. The event will be designed to assist small women, minority, and service disabled veteran business owners to market their services, goods, and um, professional services to various cities, departments, and other attendees. During the event, the MBC will recognize firms which have displayed exceptional business practices during the past year. Well, given the current state of the economy, the city finds great pleasure in recognizing those small minority women and service disabled veteran owned businesses in the area that have contributed to the steady growth of the city of Virginia Beach. Registration for the November 3rd event begins at 2 p.m. at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. And for more information, log on to the website or call the number listed on your screen. When it comes to educating students, the school division knows that one size doesn't fit all. That's why they offer five academy and advanced academic programs that focus on curriculum such as legal studies, performing arts, and even math and sciences. Let's take an in-depth look at the Visual and Performing Arts Academy at Salem High School. 
The show must go on, and at the Visual and Performing Arts Academy at Salem High School, students are raising the curtain on opportunities that better prepare them for post-secondary advanced studies for quicker entry into arts-related occupations. The balance between artistic development and academic preparation is the heart of the Academy program. Students are exposed to the humanities and have the opportunity to select a course of study that will best meet their needs and interests. I think if a student is looking for a very um, uh, intense program that offers lots uh, of different options that we provide that for them. Uh, a student looking to find their way in the arts uh, can explore dance and theater and, and visual arts and music or if a student is ready to uh, take off and become a uh, uh, a world-class music musician or artist themselves we provide that type of education here as well. The Academy offers five strands for students to select from visual arts, instrumental music, vocal music, dance, and theater. Students will view each strand through the lens of four components, aesthetic perspectives, creative expression, culture and history, and analysis and criticism. While most students will select one strand in which to focus, they will be encouraged to explore more than one area of the arts. In productions, cooperation of all five art strands is evident as the students work together to create living art. All strands emphasize performance and exhibition, which take place on campus as well as professional venues. A sampling of the venues and experiences in which students have participated include juried art shows at the Contemporary Art Center and Chrysler Hall, concerts performed at the Lincoln Center in New York City. I like the fact that it allows me to become a better artist. It allows me to become a better person through becoming a better artist. Um, I've learned a lot about myself, a lot about others, and I've grown tremendously the whole time that I've been here. One of the distinctive qualities unique to the Academy is found in the master class program offered to students. A wide variety of opportunities are afforded the students conducted by regional and nationally recognized artists. Example opportunities include clinics conducted by the Joffrey Ballet, artistic residencies with guest maestros, and portfolio reviews at the National Portfolio Review Day in Washington, D.C. Artistic and corporate partnerships foster not only the master class program, but job shadowing experiences and internships as well. One of the things that really makes our academy so successful is our dedicated staff. Um, we have an awesome, highly qualified staff that puts in tons and tons of hours um, into giving these students opportunities and, and improving on their instruction. Beach events, Virginia Symphony, Tidewater Winds, Chrysler Hall, Virginia Arts Festival, and the Contemporary Arts Center share their facilities, staff, equipment, and resources to allow students to grow into practicing artists. This professional development further contributes to the world-class artistic and educational program at the Visual and Performing Arts Academy. At the conclusion of the senior year, the entire class performs in a collaborative senior production that showcases four years of arts education in one culminating production. The project is designed, directed, and conducted by the students. Admission to the Academy is based on several criteria, including an audition and portfolio review. So if you see yourself performing under the bright lights, directing the next Broadway musical, or painting like the masters, you'll want to explore all that the Visual and Performing Arts Academy at Salem High School has to offer. You can check out the Visual and Performing Arts Academy firsthand during their annual information night. Salem High School is hosting the event, and it takes place on Thursday, December the 1st, from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Prospective students and their parents are invited to the event, which will provide detailed information on the program and opportunities available at the school. A question and answer period will follow the presentation. The school division is accepting academy applications for the 2012-2013 school year. Applications can be picked up from the guidance department at any middle or high school or online at vbschools.com. The deadline for applications is February the 1st. Did you know that there's an institute of higher learning going on at a local elementary school? Sound like an oxymoron? We're doing Arrowhead University today. It's a series of uh, clubs for our third, fourth, and fifth graders based on interest. Anything from duct tape to algebra. 116 students happily showed up for the first session. 
Courses are taught by teachers and parents who volunteer their time and talents to make the program a hit with students. We have had amazing success. We're really proud of our students who come back year after year, um, who stop the teachers in the halls and beg for them uh, to do more algebra or to um, read more books or to learn new things. So it's amazing to see how much the students uh, want to learn new things. If you have not ever seen one or held one, the iPad has come in with a case. From learning iPad technology to masterminding the game of chess, these savvy youngsters were eager for information. Chess is always popular. We have a new geography class um, that students are very excited about. Um, and also our fifth graders, for the first time, are trying guitar lessons. So whether you're an old hand or a new one at the U, lessons learned will hopefully keep student interests thriving. I hope they want more. I hope they're sad on the last day. Um, and I hope they want to do it again next year. Details about Arrowhead University are available online at the school's website, which is listed on your screen. This area is a hotbed for homegrown celebrities, so for many of our viewers, it was probably no surprise when a local group made it big on the popular talent show, The X Factor. Today, you have an opportunity to sit with some people who've broken some ground and found some success. Look for the things that you see in them. Miss Scully is talking about the group For Sure, a vocal quartet of performers who've made it big yet haven't forgotten their roots. For Sure is a great group. We um, started out here in Virginia Beach and we've been working hard for about three summers. We actually go to school during the year so we don't see each other. And we actually got back together a few months ago. We auditioned for the show and now we've been stuck together and we've been having a great time and a blast just telling everybody about it. They're spreading the news by visiting their old middle and high schools to answer questions and inspire students. If you stay ready, you never have to get ready. They even treated these Salem Middle School students to a quick performance. They definitely have some pipes, but was it enough to inspire these future performers? Oh, yes, um, because I feel like now, because I learned that, I can be a better musician. And because Darius had Miss Gully and I have her too, I feel like I'm going to have like a really bright future with music. I really hope that they, they realize, okay, someone from here, they made it. He actually sat in these seats. He made it. Listen to Miss Gully. Listen to the, the advice of people who, who care about us and love us and really take that to heart and go far with your dreams. While in Virginia Beach, the group also visited Landstown and Salem High School. They even performed at a Virginia Destroyers football game. For sure has received national media attention for their successful audition on The X Factor, a popular Fox television show featuring Simon Cowell and Paula Abdul. And with that, we've come to the end of our show, but before we leave you tonight, we'd like to share some exciting news. Access Virginia Beach recently won third place for a new series in NATOA's 26th Annual Government Programming Awards. The program honors excellence in broadcast and multimedia programming produced by local government agencies. More than 740 entries were submitted from across the country and Canada. Congratulations to the crew and the volunteers who helped put this award-winning show together. And if you missed something or would like to see it again, you can view this program online. Log on to vbgov.com slash media. Then under the All Categories button, find and click on Access Virginia Beach. For everyone here at VBTV, I'm Peter Van Hees, Then thanks for watching. Any questions? Uh, what kind of service plan does this come with? Unlimited. Can I keep my same phone number? Does it have a camera? What's the warrant? Can I put my party shuffle on this? Any questions? No. For the 10 questions everyone should know, go to ahrq.gov.